So when we think about ornamental grasses in our garden, we usually think about big, beautiful, tall, flowing, uh, swaying in the wind, beautiful plants. But also, if we think about it, our lawns under our feet also have beautiful ornamental grasses that kind of lay down that baseline or that palette for your backyard or your garden. And so in Oklahoma, we can grow several different types of turf grasses for our lawn. One of those that's probably the most popular in Oklahoma is Bermuda grass. And so Bermuda grass is actually a species that was introduced to the United States. And so it's not native to Oklahoma. However, it is ubiquitous to Oklahoma. It is everywhere. And so almost anywhere you go in Oklahoma, you're going to find Bermuda grass. So it is well adapted to our environment. And actually a lot of the uh, grasses that are sold and marketed as sod or even as seed around Oklahoma, Bermuda grass is going to be the top seller. And even at Oklahoma State University, we have a breeding program where we develop new and improved Bermuda grasses that do quite well in many conditions, including some for your lawn. So another nice warm season grass, we mentioned Bermuda grass earlier, but another one that's actually native to Oklahoma is buffalo grass. And so buffalo grass is a nice Oklahoma grass being that it is one of the uh, few native grasses that we can actually use as a turf grass. Now the trick here is it's got a little bit different use than uh, the Bermuda grass we mentioned earlier. Now both of these want to be in the full sun and, and they don't like shade very much. But if you're out in the full sun, it can be nice choices. The thing about a buffalo grass lawn is it has that native look to it. And you can also intermix it with other native grasses if you choose. And actually, that's originally what they did here at the Welcome Center at Oklahoma State University. And so this grass will spread through stolons and fill in areas. The thing about it, though, is, is if you have a little bit of Bermuda grass and buffalo grass in the same area and they're competing, oftentimes the Bermuda grass will just win out, especially if you're irrigating, fertilizing, and things like that. So one of the keys is make sure all the Bermuda grass or other grasses for that matter are completely removed before you go in with a nice native planting of buffalo grass. Here in the Oklahoma shade, another great turf grass for us is tall fescue. Now the reason that we grow this in the shade is it is a shade tolerant turf grass. And some of our other grasses like Bermuda grass or buffalo grass do not grow well at all in the shade. So oftentimes you'll see a multi-species or at least two species growing in, in a lawn if you have a lot of shade. So here we have tall fescue. Oftentimes it is also kind of mixed in with another Oklahoma turf grass that can be used, Kentucky bluegrass. However, the caveat is for most of the state, if we're going to use tall fescue or tall fescue blended with Kentucky bluegrass, really the shade is about our only option for that. And shade is a relative term, right? And so we have to think about, well, how much shade are we getting? If it's a heavy, dense shade, maybe no grasses are going to grow. And you need to think about alternatives such as uh, shade tolerant perennials or even hardscapes. But if you have some light coming through, and these are big trees here and we have a nice stand growing, it can do quite well for you as a nice shade grass in Oklahoma. So here's an Oklahoma turf grass that can do well in the full sun or in the partial shade, and this is zoysia grass. The nice thing about zoysia grass is it's very tough, hardy grass for Oklahoma. So the difference with zoysia grass and say a tall fescue or tall fescue Kentucky bluegrass blend is that with the cool season grasses, the tall fescue Kentucky bluegrass, it can grow well in the shade, but not as well in the full sun in most of Oklahoma. However, zoysia grass, it loves the sun. It'll do quite well and again can tolerate that partial shade. And with the zoysia grass, it can grow from stolons, from sprigs, and through rhizomes underground. So you can purchase sod or plugs, or even there is some zoysia grasses you can buy a, a seed for it too. But what I would recommend is it's a little bit slower growing. So if you're going to go with soya grass, I'd recommend go, just go ahead and sodding just because you have that instant law and instant establishment. You can plug it. Just be aware it's going to take a little while. So in the southern part of the state, we can also grow another Oklahoma turf grass, St. Augustine grass. 
Now the reason I say the southern part of the state is St. Augustine grass does not have the cold tolerance as some of the other turf grasses. And so if we keep it closer to the southern part of Oklahoma, it can overwinter quite well. Now St. Augustine grass is going to have a coarser leaf texture or a wider leaf blade, but it's very popular across Texas and southern Oklahoma, can do quite well. So while your beautiful ornamental grasses can make a great border or a great addition to your landscape, don't forget about the ornamental turf grasses for your great lawn, for your backyards, for your front yards. A nice place to play, to relax, and just to enjoy the outdoors. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.